fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush Now all you need to make this project is this LM3914IC, some 1 kilo ohm resistors, 4 PNP transistors to be specific, 2 and 3906. You can also use any PNP transistor, it's totally up to you. Now let's talk about the LED cube. Trust me, you will get literally thousands of videos in YouTube which shows you how you can make a LED cube. So I will not go into detail that how I created this LED cube, instead let's directly move on to the circuit. So you need the world's smallest breadboard you will ever find and some jumper cables. Use a schematic which is as always in the description as a reference and connect the pins together. Use 1 kilo ohm resistor to connect the pin number 13. 14, 15 and 16 to the base of each transistor. Now attach the pin 6 with 200 kilo ohm resistor to VCC and the pin 7 with 1 kilo ohm resistor to ground. Afterwards provide the VCC and ground supply to the IC and transistors. After establishing all the connections in the cube, Find the pins which can illuminate each section like you can see here. Then you have to attach all the ground points together and make a common ground. This cube is basically only meant to work with Arduino so that's why it's a bit difficult to apply the idea but hopefully I will be able to do this without creating a mess. But if you are making it from start then you can directly solder the components onto the prof board so it will be a lot easier for you. Afterwards, attach the common ground to the ground of your circuit and also those four wires which is used to illuminate each row. Yes, connect it to the collector of each transistor but make sure to get the sequence right. If you are completely confused about the wiring and I know you are, so don't worry, you will get a very neat circuit diagram in the video description. Now finally we are done with the wiring, so let's try to power it up with 5 volts. See my reaction here. Because that time those 4 transistors were the only one I was having, so basically I totally screwed up. I tried searching the transistor in my old circuit board collection and thankfully I found a circuit board which is having a PNP transistor which is luckily also a 2N3906. Just a bit old. That's why I don't like to throw away the broken electronics. Now finally after correcting my mistake and putting the transistor back in its place, nothing blows up. Which is a good sign. Now all you need to do is when someone is listening to music, go ahead and cut the hand free and grab the audio jack. Once you are successful in this mission, I'm just kidding, a broken hand free will also work just fine. So after snipping the isolation, solder something solid to the ground wire that can easily go into the breadboard. Ground wire is usually in golden color and the right or left channel consists of some colored wire. Use any channel either left or right and cut the other one. Afterwards, connect the ground to the ground of the circuit and the signal wire to the pin 5 of the IC. Now finally, it's time to test my junk I've created. I think it's a creation. So I plugged in the audio cable in my mobile phone, no iPhone. So as you can see that I'm using this adapter to also hear sound on my speakers. 
in my case I don't have any speaker right now so I'm just using a hand fee. Now if you don't want me to beg for subscribing while you're enjoying the lighting show then do it right now because we are still at 5k subscribers. Believe me, only you guys can increase the number. Also if you enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. If you have any idea like something you want me to make or you have any questions then ask me in the comment section. Now enjoy.